you ever wondered what your purpose might be? To be honest, being 11, it really isn't something I thought much about. I mean, who's going to listen to me? And I know my purpose may change, but what I now know is that you're never too young or old to make an impact. So this is me when I was about five months old. And yes, that is not a pacifier in my mouth. Those are my hearing aids. Um, I have bilateral sensory neural hearing loss, which is about 65% deaf. This is my dog, Chewy. Uh, we named him after Chewbacca, but little did we know that one day it'd be very ironic. And, and yes, he's very cute. <laughs> These are my old hearing aids before Chewy chewed them up. And then a second time. So my parents got mad at me. They gave me this whole talk. What are you going to do about this? And they basically told me that many people can't afford hearing aids. Many people don't have access to hearing aids. So like, what are you going to do about this? And one thing is, is that insurance does not cover hearing aids. And hearing aids can cost as little to, as $4,000 and up to 8000 so that got me thinking. I got an idea. I thought, huh, WWED, what would Ellen do? <laughs> now, how many of you know who Ellen is? Yeah, she, she's one of my biggest inspirations. So we raised money, and we, we were just like, what can we donate this money to? And we looked at the back of my hearing aids, and they had a foundation. And so, well, we need to contact them. And Otacon in Somerset, New Jersey, has a headquarters that we could donate to in, uh, in the Otacon Hearing Foundation. And so I made a video and posted it to my mom's Facebook page. And here it is. Hi, my name is Brianna Aiden. Uh, I am 10 years old, and I am hearing impaired. I have been made by Otacon. So that was my first video. Honestly, I didn't really like it, but. <laughs> so later, we got invited to the Otacon headquarters, and we gave them this big check from GoFundMe, $15,000. And that was just the beginning. And while we were there, we met a speaker named Dr. Kamala Elliott. And she was basically who helped me do all of this. Like, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for her. And she lives in Pennsylvania, and she was the one who helped us go to Guatemala. And while we were there, we got to visit New York, and we got to go to like Times Square, Times Square, and we got to see Good Morning America. It was awesome while we were there. And two weeks later, we got a call from Ellen, and they said that they wanted me on the show. And I went on to the Ellen show, and she donated me $20,000. And just a little while after that, I was invited to the GoFundMe Awards. And I got an Outstanding Achievement Award. And it was so fun to be there. And just the next day, we were off to Guatemala with Dr. Kamala Elliott. So they actually had renamed the trip to Braden's Gift of Hearing. And so, this was the whole team that helped us. There were audiologists, and there were many more people like uh, hearing mold sculptors, and went many more. And there's also just people who were there to help. 
and this is the whole team because when we got there, we arrived in Guatemala City, but then we had to take a bus to another city where we actually gave out the hearing aids. And over here is about half of the hearing aids that we were actually giving out. And we gave out about 150. So this is one kid that I met and he was just amazing. I kind of stuck by him the whole time that he was there. His name was Christian and he was kind of just my friend from when I was there. And he had already gotten hearing aids and this is just his second time getting hearing aids because they didn't work anymore. And there were also some other kids that I played with, such as this one. And this is me and Christian basically picking out his hearing aids. And this is another kid on the left getting, just having fun. And while we were there, I got lots of hugs. And my mom was so, and my mom was so happy that I got to experience another culture and got to see how other people live. And this was another lady who had just gotten hearing aids who was very happy. And these were all of the kids that were there. It was so amazing to meet all of them. And up here on the right is Mary Ann. And she was a huge help. She was the one who gave us the emails at first, who kind of started all of this. And then on the, on the left was Rashali. And she was one of the audiologists that helped us while we were there. And so what's next? Well, my GoFundMe is still active, and just yesterday we hit $75,000. So all of these funds have been able to go to Guatemala, Africa, in Mozambique, hospitals right here in America, and some victims of hurricanes, such as Hurricane Harvey. Now, the real question here is, are you making an impact? I hope that all of you are inspired to, to make an impact when you leave here, whether it's a small impact or a huge impact. I want you to find your purpose and do something with it. Thank you.